All right, I'm here with Alfonso Calero, photographer from Down Under. How are you doing? How's Australia? Hello, yeah, I'm doing well. Thank you very much, Paco. How All right, are you? so I've got, I'm good. I'm raring to go here. I've got five <laughs> questions that you got to answer in five minutes. All right, well, you ready to go? I'm up for it. Okay, here we go. First question. What fascinates you about photography? The, the visual story behind the image, you know, the, the narrative. Um, maybe even a series of photos, like this photo we're looking at now, this uh, abandoned wool shed with uh, paranormal activity uh, in uh, Tasmania. Yeah, I love, I love the, the story behind the place, and if it's linked to humans as well, it's even more interesting. Right, second question. Do you have a very strict divide between your personal work and your commercial work? Uh, not not really, because my, my, my personal work is my commercial work. I do photo tours around the world and I take people to the places I know, the culture, the language, and, uh, and I have friends and family there. So as you know, I'm from the Philippines originally. I moved to Australia when I was 15 and I used to live in Japan. My wife's Japanese and, uh, and then I'm in you know, Spanish descent. So I go to those uh, four places a lot and uh, that gives me a chance to mix both making money from my love for teaching and traveling. Oh, that's awesome. Um, speaking of workshops, what's the number one question you get asked by from your workshop students? <laughs> what camera do you use? What lens do you use? <laughs> okay, what's the <laughs> second best question you get asked by your workshop students? How do, how do, you, how do you spark your creativity when you lose your mojo? Um, yeah, that's probably the most common one. And by the way, there is an answer to how to unlock your creativity in this ebook. Uh, in more detail at the bottom of this uh, video, I'll put a link to that so you can, I can answer that, this, the question to the question. <laughs> All right, fourth question, speaking of inspiration, what do you think is the effect or the influence of social media on photography as a craft or as an art? Yeah, I guess there's some pros and cons there. The, uh, the negative side is that you can overuse your devices and, and you know, uh, get too, too in, too obsessed with getting that dopamine hit, uh, which is not, which is a bit of a false, uh, false reward there. The, the positives are not to spend too much on social media and to inspire other people, not yourself. So try to share what you know and, and, and try to inspire people. And, and uh, I'm not an entertainer, but I guess if you're an entertain, entertainer, you would entertain people. So for me, it's to educate people and, and to pass on um, some inspiration. Awesome. And the last of the five, uh, what one photographic skill would do you wish you could be better at? Uh, I think I'd like to get better at uh, Photoshop and retouching. So if I'm looking through my, my ebook here now and I think about this image, for example, where they shot uh, Dragonstone for Game of Thrones in uh, San Juan Gastelugache in the Basque country of Spain. This is two images. You know, I'd be great if I could get better at uh, retouching and blending and, and all of that. So that's one thing I'd love to get better at, Photoshop. Well, with the quarantine going on, I think you might just find that you have the time to do a couple of courses online. Alfonso, no, thanks so you. much. It's been, it's been great talking to you. Thanks for your five minutes and the five questions. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All the best. Stay safe.